Hi everyone, I'm Jill. And I'm Alice. And this is Waterfront, Waterfront Wednesdays, Wednesdays, brought to you by Boston, Boston Harbor, Harbor Now. Have you ever walked around our office and looked at all of the framed documents on the wall? You mean like the fact that we have a framed copy of House Resolution 2763 introduced by U.S. Representative Gary Studs, or a copy of H.R. 4236, Section 1029, that created the Boston Harbor Islands National Recreation Area and was signed by President Clinton? Yes. So not every nonprofit has those things hanging on the wall. But very few organizations are codified into the management team of a national park by federal legislation. And there's nothing quite like the partnership. And the partnership manages and protects the 34 islands in the Boston Harbor Islands State and National Park. It's true. The partnership works by having federal partners like the National Park Service, MPS, and the U.S. Coast Guard, state partners like the Department of Conservation and Recreation, DCR, as well as city partners like the City of Boston and the Boston Redevelopment Authority, now called the BPDA. And most of the partners own islands, like the U.S. Coast Guard that owns Little Brewster, which is home to Boston Light and Nix's Meat. Right. Or the MWRA, they own Deer Island and Nut Island, as well as the Trustees of Reservations, who own World's End. Or Thompson Island Outward Bound, who owns Thompson Island. And Massport doesn't own islands, but they're involved because they own a really important landside area around it, and they manage the port and the airport. And Boston Harbor Now! That's us! Because we are the official nonprofit partner for the National and State Park. In the original legislation in 1996 asked the Boston Harbor Island Alliance to do three things. First, it's attract investment and support from the private sector for the park. Two, coordinate activities to provide necessary strategic and financial resources. Three, assist three, assist with support of island facilities and launch of new programs. Right. In 2016, when the Harbor Island Alliance merged with the Boston Harbor Association to form Boston Harbor Now, our new organization got those superpowers. And that's why we're still heavily involved in the partnership. We like to say that we do everything in partnership, little p, but most of our projects involve this partnership, capital P. Like the water transportation strategy? Yep. So in addition to the business plans that we just finished, we've been working with NPS to develop a study that looked at how service to the Harbor Islands was working on the ferries, and that tried to figure out better strategies for issuing a new RFP later this year. Or the PEDEX redevelopment plan, where you're working with NPS and DCR on a long-term strategy for the island. Exactly. The beauty of the partnership is that each organization is bringing its skills, its resources, its expertise to the table to build a seamless experience for park visitors. Which is really incredible, right? Most people who visit the islands don't know that there are so many owners. So if you visit George's Island and you ask a ranger a particular question, you might be talking to a ranger that works for DCR or NPS. And each agency has its strengths. One of DCR's strengths is managing high quality campsites. They do it across the Commonwealth and for the Harbor Islands. And MPS has trained biologists that are really great at tracking wetland receding or mammal activity. Yep, and when the partnership meets every other month, it convenes a whole set of harbor experts who can weigh in on projects and major decision making. This also includes members of a group that has been put on hold by federal order, and that's the Boston Harbor Island Advisory Committee. And this group has representatives from municipalities, educational, cultural institutions, environmental organizations, business and commercial entities, Boston Harbor advocacy groups, Native American interests, and even community groups. Absolutely. In 23 years in, there are some people with great historic knowledge of the park. They've been working on it since it was formed. Like Fred Lasky or Kathy Douglas Stone. Yep. And I think all of them are really proud of what they've accomplished. They should be. It's a partnership that's been able to accomplish a lot together. Um, I think some people at the beginning thought that it could be a little bit overly bureaucratic, but in the end, it's been a really productive public-private partnership. So we hope that the next time you visit the Boston Harbor Islands, by boat or on one of the four peninsulas, you'll take a moment to appreciate all of the very different groups that came together to make it a really great park. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jill Valdez Horwood. And I'm Alice Brown. Follow us at Harbor Horwood or at Fairy Fairy. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and throw us a like. Or you can write a comment below, tell us about the islands or the partnership, or give us an idea for a future episode. We'll see you on the islands.